Then Strange Currencies, Peter Buck and R.E.M. from their 1994 album Monster. We are in standard tuning for this tutorial and uh, throughout the main body of this track we're basically using four chords. C, but we're going to be holding our pinky on the uh, third fret of the high E string here for the C chord. Still C. F, add nine. We're still going to hold our pinky on that third fret for this F chord which turns that into an F add nine. D minor and G. During the bridge, we do go off to A minor, but uh, we'll get to that when we get to it. But uh, for the main body of this track, uh, those are the four chords that we're going to be using. We're going to be arpeggiating notes out of them. But the very, very beginning of this track starts like this. And then we drop into the main body of the song, right? So that little lick there, second fret of the D string, we're going to pull it off to open D, up to the third fret of the A, back down to open D, and then you drop into the C and start arpeggiating notes out of that C. So at the very beginning of this track, we're going to repeat this C to F four times. That's two, and then the vocals come in. switch it off to D minor, right? And then up to G. So uh, only at the very beginning of this track is that uh, progression repeated four times, that C to F. And every other time it's going to be twice. Now, the notes that we're arpeggiating out of this C chord, we're going to ride down the string starting on the A string, skip over the B string, down to the high E, ride back up to the G string. Right? And now when we drop down to F, you're going to ride right down from the D string on down. When you get to the high E, you're going to reverse. But when you get back to the G string, you're going to lift this second fret of the uh, G string off to open G. Right? Before dropping back into C and repeating. Like I said, you repeat this four times at the beginning. Now you start at a fifth, and when you the, the fifth time when you get down to F, you're gonna ride it off to D minor. Kind of like that, right? So D string, G string, B string. Now skip off to the uh, second fret of the D string and open up the G string while we're still holding our index on the first fret of the B. And then you drop into D minor. And then ride down the strings, ride back up again. And again, like we did in F, you're gonna go off to open G on the upstroke, right? We're catching the second fret of the G string going down, but we release off to the open G on the way back up. And then you drop into G. Now the uh, notes that you're arpeggiating out of G are you're catching the third fret here of the low E, skipping the A string, D, G, skipping the B string, and then just riding up the, uh, the top three strings. Right, and then you drop back into C for the second, uh, the second half of the first verse. And then 
back to F, write it down to, to D minor, and then off to G, and then we're into the chorus. So the chorus, we're going to strum a C chord and then catch the, uh, the top two strings on the upstroke. Kind of like that, right? Off to G, do the exact same thing. Down to F, same thing. But now I should mention, we're not holding our pinky with these chords, right, during the chorus. We're just in a straight up C chord, right? Open E, first fret of the uh, B, G, F, and again, the F is a regular F here, barring the first fret, right? Strumming it, catching the top two strings on the upstroke. Back to C, back to F. Now we're going to arpeggiate notes out of this F a little more this time. So strum the F, B string up to G string, down to the high E, up to the B, up to the G. Go to the G, do the exact same thing. All right, so you strum the chord, catch the B, G, down to the high E, up to the B, up to the G. And that's the first half of the chorus. Now this time we drop into D minor and we ride up the strings three times. Same kind of picking pattern, right? Strum the chord, B to G, and then ride up three times. And then the final time you go off to G before, or you have to, off to open G, the open G string before dropping into a G chord. You strum the G, B to G, right up the top three strings, light little strum, and then we're into the second verse, right? So that's the chorus. second verse you play that opening lick again into the second verse repeat that twice start it again write it down to D minor second half of the second verse down the D minor, second chorus, D minor, off the G, and now this time we're leading into the bridge, so you're going to ride that G a little more, you're going to ride up the top three strings three times. And then you drop into the bridge, which is off to A minor. Right, so the, the, the bridge is just basically going from A minor off to G, with that same kind of picking pattern we were doing, right, strum, B string to G string, and then riding up the top three strings. Go to G, do the same thing. Back to A minor. G, back to A minor. Now we drop into F, and then off to C, into D minor. Ride up three times. Back to G, and now we're into the third verse. The third verse, you do not do this. Right, you just let that G ring, and then you drop into the third verse. Second half of the third verse. And then we're into the final 
chorus, which repeats twice. At the very end of the track, uh, the band, uh, the vocals drop out, and the band just continues on for one more pass through of the chorus without vocals, right? And at the very end of the track, that opening lick again, right? And then just drops into a lightly strum C chord. End of track. And that, my friends, is How You Play Strange Currencies by R.E.M. and Peter Buck. Certainly hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful and accurate. Uh, I think it's pretty darn close. And if you did, please hit that like button. Drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind and helpful to the growth of my little channel. Uh, hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, wherever that may find you, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.